What's up guys, welcome back to the modern UI series. So this is where we left in the previous video, recorded the application so that we can drag the form all around the screen and we have this beautiful interface. So what we are going to do in this video is, we are going to code the two text boxes so that when we press the enter key on the username area, the cursor will jump into the password field and if we press enter on the password field, it will automatically click on the sign in button. So the first thing I'm going to do is undock this form so that I can work on the main form the first thing i'm going to do is i will click on the username text box and let's go to properties events and i'm searching for the event called key down so let's double click on the key down event and let's go back to the form and let's click on the password text box and let's do the same thing for that also so now that we created the two event handlers we can start coding so for the username text box i'm going to type an if condition and let's type e arrow key value equals equals keys enter and as this is a char we have to cast it to an int so basically e means the key event args which the key pressed so we are checking whether the pressed key is equal to the enter key so if it is equal we are going to type text box 2 arrow focus so this method will put the cursor onto the text box and for the password text box i'm going to do the same thing so i'm just going to copy this if condition and paste it over here and let's change this little piece of code so what i'm going to do is i will perform the click event of this sign in button let's type button one arrow perform click so this will automatically click the sign in button and everything inside of the event handler will happen automatically so that's it before running the application there's one last thing we need to do so for the sign in button uh, when we click on the sign in button if the username and the password are correct we were supposed to exit the application but before exiting i'm going to show a message called access granted so let's do that and also we have to change the message box icon to information because that's not an error so let's start the program and let's type something here like admin and if i press enter the cursor will push down to the password field and if I type the password and press enter the sign in button is automatically click and we get this beautiful message. So that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and that's it for this whole series. Hope you guys learned a lot throughout the series as you guys have the basics we can start doing some advanced stuff so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.